Van D's Cards and Yard Sales, welcome back to part three of the three-part series of the most valuable Buffalo nickels from least to most expensive. Um, this is the uh, last 10 of this uh, countdown. So at number 10, we have the 1921S Buffalo nickel. And uh, guys, if you're enjoying this kind of stuff, please uh, hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment if I missed any nickels. Let me know how I did. Um, I'm into this stuff and I figured I'd share the knowledge. Uh, my, my prices that I have here are accurate. I've researched them before I decided to make this video. So number 10 uh, is the 1921S Buffalo Nickel. In 1921, the U.S. Mint uh, focused its resources on producing uh, Morgan dollars and made fewer other coins. Only 1,557,000 nickels were produced in San Francisco and none in Denver, uh, making this nickel very difficult to find. That's extremely rare. Only 1,557,000. Um, one in this condition uh, recently sold for $2,397. Okay, next we have the 1918S Buffalo Nickel. Like the previous coin, uh, the 1918S is also difficult to find. Less than 5 million were struck in San Francisco, and that's about a ninth of the total minted nationwide in, in that year. Um, even coins in worn condition uh, are worth around $20. Um, one in this condition uh, sold for $3,127. Okay, number eight, we have the 1924S Buffalo Nickel. This is where the prices start to go up. Only 1,437,000 Buffalo nickels were minted in San Francisco in 1924, making them extremely rare. Uh, lower grade coins, um, coins in very bad condition, uh, are worth 20 to $30 um, compared to those uh, that go for about $1, $1 made at the Philadelphia Mint. So the Philadelphia Mint's really nothing uh, for this coin. But if you find one in uh, from San Francisco, like we were talking about in the previous two videos, the S... S on nickels in this time are from San Francisco. Um, a coin in this condition recently sold for $4,175. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. Number seven. Can you guys see that? Let me raise that up a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. One second. Okay. Okay, number seven. We have the 1937 D three legs Buffalo nickel. This one makes me laugh. Um, unlike the previous coin, this one's value comes from it being a mistake. Um, if you could tell by now, there's not many errors uh, around this time. Um, they weren't really um, making many errors uh, on coins, striking coins at this time, especially nickels. Not really the most sought after coin, you know, quarters and dimes and pennies, they're more. So it uh, wasn't really a lot of attention and stuff going into, going into these nickels. There wasn't uh, like a mass production of them. So there wasn't really much room for error. Um, but unlike the previous coin, uh, the value of this coin come from it being a mistake. There was an error in production resulting in making the buffalo appear to be a creature with only three legs. Uh, the right foreleg is clearly missing. So you can see the right leg there. It's gone. There's nothing there. You can see like the little hoof, but there's no leg. Um, one in this condition, this is a very good condition, um, sold for $5,842. Okay. Next up, we have the 1935 Double Dye Reverse Buffalo Nickel. You could tell uh, like by the color. You could see the different color there. Okay. I actually have one of these. Uh, not the best condition though. Um, so this again, uh, an error makes this coin rare enough to be valuable. This nickel has doubling on the reverse side of the coin. The letters spelling out five, um, the, the words spelling out five cents are more pronounced that uh, are more pronounced than on the standard 1935 coin. So it's like kind of, it's very bold here. You could see the shadows and uh, it's almost like a doubling. You know, they call it a double die, but it's more of like a bold kind of look. Um, this coin uh, in this condition just sold for $7,125. Okay. 
Number five, the 1914 four over three Buffalo nickel. This uh, coin, so the four over three has been double stamped with a four stamped over the three. This is a less obvious error than many other doubling examples, uh, but it can be seen by looking closely at the date. So if you look at the date, you can, it's really very, very hard to notice, but um, you can kind of see it. It can be identified by a small block striking out from the left side of the top of the four and a slightly rounded edge on the upper right side. So you can kind of see right up there, um, like the top edge of the three. Very, very hard to spot, guys. But again, there's not many 1914 nickels around there. So around right now. So if you have one, you could take the time out and put it under a magnifying glass and look and do whatever. Um, this one in this condition just sold for $7,132. Okay, number four, the 1926S Buffalo Nickel. This coin is the rarest of all Buffalo Nickels. Minted in San Francisco, only 970,000 were produced. Extremely, extremely rare. This was the only Buffalo Nickel with a total mintage of less than a million. It's pretty rare, uh, but not rarer than the, the next three that we're gonna go over. Um, this coin just sold for $10,502. Okay, number three. The 1936 D3 and a half legs Buffalo Nickel. It's another one of these ones. Like the 1937 three legs, this coin's value comes from an error in, an error in production. Let me re-say that. Like the 1937 three-legged coin, this coin's value comes from an error in production. In this case, the buffalo has three solid legs. The image of the front leg is weak and seems to fade away, giving the impression the last leg is a stump. So it's not as vivid as the other one, I don't know why this would be worth more than the, the previous uh, three legs that we went over, but it is. This coin recently sold for $22,441. 1936 D. Okay, coming in at number two, we have the 1918 D eight over seven Buffalo nickel. Minted in Denver, this is another example of a production error. The 1918 date was stamped over the 1917 date, producing a flat top eight with straight lines. Since, it's, since it is extremely rare, this coin is worth over $1,000, even in lesser conditions. So if you have one in bad condition, you could still fetch $1,000 and up for it. Um, one in this condition just sold for $64,395. And for the number one Buffalo Nickel, um, we have the 1916 Double Die Averse Buffalo Nickel. Again, guys, please, if you're enjoying this stuff, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. This coin was struck by the production die twice, causing the date to be doubled. Even this faded one, you could see it. So imagine when it was brand new. It was, it was definitely very bold and, and clear. Like the previous example, because of their rarity, these error coins are worth thousands of dollars no matter the condition. If you have one that you can barely even see the face or the buffalo on it, you could still fetch thousands for it. This coin recently sold for $159,442. So there you have it, guys. There is the list of the um, top 30 most expensive nickels from least uh, value to highest. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button, comment. Let me know if I left anything out or let me know if you have any of these nickels. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next video.